mask with apple cider vinegar. Okay, so I'm going to pin the topic. Today is Mass Thursday. Pinning it. We have our masks. This is just a really good one. Um, and I really want to encourage you guys to do Mass every week. And a great way to do that is to showcase this inexpensive but effective mask. So we're going to use it again and this time i'm actually going to try for the first time using apple cider vinegar with it a lot of people do that i've had clients do it i've personally not do it i haven't done much research as far as like the ph of it um but i think it would be cool to try and then let you guys know my opinion and then i'll probably do more research on it in the future but i definitely wanted to try it so Welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. Welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. And in case you forget, welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. Actually, I usually say, and so you remember. Welcome to the, so let me do that again. Welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. Welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3 Blue Action Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer and skin therapist. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through chemical peels and waxing in Santa Ana, California. I'm also licensed in the state of Arizona. I have my own product line that's been sold in the U.S., the U.K., Canada, and the A.E. They're my exfoliating pads. You can check them out at 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com, 3bwaxing.com. I also help estheticians start their own product line, open up their salon suite, work um, different events, attract clients, learn how to wax doing brow waxes, full body waxing, Brazilian waxing, all of that. If you want to stay connected, I have a ton of freebies. Uh, if you click the link in the bio of my Instagram at 3B Waxing, you can see all the freebies I have that can help you with your skin, with waxing, if you have questions about waxing, if you're professional wanting to attract clients, it's all in there. So I love to stay connected with you. So, Mass Monday is all about mass, obviously. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that you can get in the habit of doing a mask every week. So, I do a mask every week, and you can do it with me. You can do it watching the replay. It helps you in the habit because I want my clients and those who follow me to really get on top of their skincare. And so, this is a good way to encourage you. On Tuesdays is products, reviews, or talking about different products, which this week I didn't showcase a product, but I did go over what you need in a good skincare routine. Wednesday is esthetician education. That was a really good one. I talked about three ways I've attracted clients at events. Today is Mass Monday, and then Fridays are all about waxing. Because I would say, well, the majority of my business is waxing, so... We're going to talk about waxing on Fridays. So here is the bowl I'm going to use for the mask. And this mask, we've used it before on a uh, mask Thursday. I'm going to put that in. So this is my first time doing the apple cider vinegar. And it draws out impurities. Get to do a mask once a week. If you get facials or chemical pills, this is really going to increase the benefits of your treatments in the salon. Okay, I was going to vinegar stinks. And then while I'm doing it, I'm going to talk about eight things that can help if you're getting breakouts on your skin that I've seen with clients that I know will work well. Oh, this stuff stinks. So I put one tablespoon in of uh, the clay and then one tablespoon of the apple cider vinegar. 
And again, this is a great low cost effective way. Um, I do sell masks from SkinScript and PCA Skin. Those are the companies that I really like and recommend to my clients. And I sell their products on my website, 3B Waxing. They're uh, high quality active ingredient products. No, that's what we talked about on Tuesday. We didn't talk about the skin care routine. We talked about skin script and why it was so good. So if you want to check out that video, it's on YouTube at 3B Waxing. And um, it talks about why I like skin script as a company. And they have different masks on there too. And I've done this mask before and it's really good for problematic skin. This is like, I would say, a basic mask. If you want to get really fancy with it, you can add your own things in there and look up properties to improve your skin. Or you can buy masks that have different properties in them. So, let's get going. Oh, this is kind of kind of thick. This is really thick. Okay, so the first thing I have for you, if you're having breakouts that you want to work on, is carry hand sanitizer with you. And the reason why you want to do that is if you touch your face, and at least you're wearing hand sanitizer and not getting extra bacteria on your skin. Because touching your face does cause acne. Hey, lover girl. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Yeah, this is just really thick, honestly. We're doing mask Thursday and... I have the healing clay with apple cider vinegar and I'm going over things I've seen that help my clients with improving their breakouts that they can do at home because obviously you can get facials and being consistent with that is going to help but I can already tell you, I probably won't be doing the apple cider vinegar again. I'll look it up to see, you know, the benefits. If it does mess up the P pH, I will do that eventually. But this stinks. Like, it helps. I don't want my mask experience to smell as bad. Hey, Skin Therapy. How are you? Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. How are things going? So, the second way to improve your skin is vitamin C. I think everyone should have a vitamin C unless you're allergic to it. Because that can, that can be the case. Vitamin C is a staple in mini skin care routines because it's an antioxidant. This is just really thick. And I don't want to put more in just because I don't want to overdo it. But I can definitely feel it bubbling. Go ahead, what mask are you doing? So I am doing the Healing Clay. We've done it before for the 3B Waxing Show, but I wanted to do it this time with uh, apple cider vinegar. I don't know if you know any information about the pH, if it's good or not for the apple cider vinegar, but I see so many people do it. My clients have done it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Um, oh, you love it. So you've done the, or actually, you may just do it with water. Do you do it with apple cider vinegar, or do you do it with water? The last times I've done this mask has been with water, but this is a good mask. A good product. So 
So if you have some time, put on your mask with me. Okay, so the next thing I have for um, improving things that have improved my clients kind of can do. I'm tired. <laughs> both love with... Oh, okay, so you do it with both. Okay, cool. So um, another thing you can do to improve your skin at home is to double cleanse. And um, a lot of people don't know this, is that double cleansing is not just cleansing once at night and cleansing once in the evening. I can really, it's really tingling with the apple cider vinegar. I'm guessing this is, the apple cider vinegar is more if you have really problematic skin. Um, double cleansing means that you cleanse one time in the morning and then you're going to cleanse a second time in the morning and you'll do this at night as well. And usually the first cleanser is like a gentle cleanser and then the second cleanser is stronger. I'm not even going to, um, finish spreading this. This will be good enough for today. <clears throat> Not most of I really got my problem area, so I'm really okay with it. So double cleansing. That's the second one. Or third one. The fourth one is change your pillowcase often. Um, if you're really getting breakouts on your cheek, you may look into changing your pillowcase. The... Next one is if you have pets, move your pillow if they are always on your bed, especially if you're gone to work. If they are on your bed, that, that can be causing you breakouts because they can track whatever's outside onto your bed and then that gets on your skin, especially if you're really prone to acne. If you wear a headset at work, Clean off the headset regularly, especially if you share with other people. Just wipe it down with some alcohol. And that goes with your phone. Wipe it down. And then uh, if you wear glasses, uh, the rims can cause congestion right in these areas. So change your pillowcases. Um, if you are really prone to acne... Change your your products one at a time. Don't change everything all at once. Hey, The Pure. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Hey, hey, hey. You don't change your products. Like, if you're really prone to acne, change your products one at a time so you can really see if things are working. Because if you change all at one time and you're prone... You don't know what's working and what isn't. And everything could be causing you, you know, breakouts. Or one thing could be. So change, change it one time. And then um, eight is just for your mental health. I know it's hard for some people, but stop thinking about your breakouts. Like if you're dealing with acne, um, work on not thinking about it all day or throughout your day. I know it's very hard because it's something that can make you self-conscious, but it will really help just to say, you know what, I'm working on my skin. It's getting better each day. I'm finding solutions and not think of, oh, my skin is so bad, talking negative about your skin because that does affect it. If you're always talking bad about your skin and stuff like that, like I've got personally gotten better at doing that with my hair just saying positive things about my hair. So say positive things about your skin. When I've had really bad skin reactions, that's how I even got into waxing. So I used to get boils and ingrowns. I had to start saying, okay, the things are working. I'm figuring it out. Like I can't, you can't be mean to your skin and your body. Um, it's just, it's part of the whole process of clearing out your skin is to talk better about yourself. So those are the eight I have. We did mask Monday. Um, I did it with the apple cider vinegar. Did get skin therapy. Did say she likes this. 
uh, this, there's someone that on the show today likes this method. Personally, I was, I'm going to look up the pH information. Personally, I think this is a good one for those who have, you know, uh, a lot of congestion. I really personally don't like the smell of this. I would rather uh, do it with water or just get a stronger mask from PCA or Skin Script. Um, so that's all I have. If you want to get a whole routine of what a good skincare routine looks like if you're trying to build it to improve your skin, then you can grab the skincare starter kit. If you are unsure about what type of skin that you have, like when you go to a esthetician, they will tell you uh, what your skin type is and those kind of things. If you wanna get the perfect skin guide that I made, if you click the link in the bio, you can find it. Just type in your email, get emailed to you. And it goes into what certain skin types look like. Hey, well, connect. Welcome to the 3B Watching Show. So that will show you exactly what, you know, dry, or it will tell you what dry skin looks like, oily skin, and those kind of things, and give you product suggestions for your skin type. Because every, you want to customize your skin routine to your skin type. And it's a trial and error. It's a journey. It's something you continue to oh improve. Oh, I had more on this spoon. Oh, I guess I'll finish this. I, even, I forgot about I had stuff on this spoon. Okay. A little easier to grab. I will say if you are getting peels, hey Gonzalez, welcome to the relaxing show. How are you doing? If you are doing chemical peels, doing this mask is not the best mask for that. It would be to do a just falling apart. It would be to do a hydrating mask. Because chemical pills, as they're peeling off your skin, it can get a little dry. And there's so many different hydrating masks. There's ones that are just clear that you can just, you know, leave, leave on for a little bit sheet masks those kind of things all right so i'm gonna wash this off in about 10 minutes ah! i'm making a mess honestly okay so thanks for those of you who are joining thanks for those who are catching the replay I hope this is helping you put on your mask every week. Tomorrow will be Friday about waxing. I was thinking, I have a topic in mind, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. Oh, I got to decide between if I want to do this topic or a different one. But have a good um, night and I'll see you tomorrow.